So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be discussing a common question. Do you need Japanese to come to Japan or even live in Japan? Well, technically, the answer to that question is basically no. We are currently living in 2023. And as you guys will know, there are various apps on our phone, which we can use actually to translate languages, to locate areas and restaurants or stations with Google Maps, and also to get voice to voice translation. Therefore, when you're coming to Japan, Japan, it's good to know some background Japanese because when you're interacting with people here in the city, of course, you need to speak some basic Japanese. For example, if you go to a store like Yodobashi Camera or Donkey, you need to actually interact with the person in the store in order to buy your camera, your gear, your SIM cards, etc, etc, or even to read some basic stuff on the SIM card like Katakana or Hiragana. However, with the help of Google Maps, Google Translate and other applications on our phones, it's technically easy to, you know, translate Japanese into English. Therefore, the basic question here, whether one should learn Japanese or not, is technically no. You don't really need Japanese to live or study or come to Japan to travel, to work, to study, etc, etc. However, knowing a basic amount of the language, of course, helps while you're in the country. The way I started studying Japanese was basically watching and listening to podcasts. I also used Duolingo to a certain extent, and I also used an application known as HelloTalk, where you can actively speak to native Japanese people, and basically that gets you going with building up your basic vocabulary and using it here in the city. So um, after three months of living in Tokyo, basically, I think my speaking and listening skills have improved compared to when I first came here um, in November. So in approximately three months, I think just living in the city and being in Japan can actually propel you um, to understand and to use Japanese because you actually have to do that. You can actually get lazy whilst you're in another country country, in Europe, in the UK, in the USA, etc, etc, because you don't actually need to use Japanese. But here, because you're in Japan, of course, you actually have to use Japanese when you go to a restaurant, when you go to a bar, when you go to order food, and also when it comes to reading and buying stuff at your local store or supermarket. Therefore, it is not a requirement for you to know Japanese. However, if you're here, automatically you will start to get immersed in the language and eventually you're going to start using it. So I wouldn't worry about learning the language before coming here because when you come here you actually will be using it and you will have to use it because I mean the city kanji and hiragana is everywhere you walk Tokyo Osaka and also other major cities have everything in English so when you're walking in a station and you want to catch your train or Shinkansen you have the title in Japanese you have basically the sign in Japanese and the subtitles of that sign will basically be in English so when you're walking around the cities or changing from one city to the next, I think it's rather easy for you, you know, to get around the cities, to catch your metro, to catch your underground or chikatetsu in Tokyo, in Osaka, and basically it's extremely easy to get from one place to the other. Tokyo, of course, is a international city. It has a lot of foreigners coming into the city. You have famous YouTubers um, from the US, from the UK, basically living in Tokyo, and also loads of foreigners coming to visit the city on a yearly basis. Therefore, Tokyo, of course, came for foreigners and knowing Japanese in Tokyo is not a massive requirement. I'm currently in Japan studying Japanese, therefore I have been studying also Japanese by myself um, for the past two to three years. So my Japanese understanding, of course, is better than when I came here back in 2018, when I actually knew absolutely nothing. So of course, by time I learned, I learned to understand the language better, I learned to speak, I met uh, Japanese people, I met at locals living here in Japan and that of course helped me build up my speaking and my listening ability. Of course I'm not near to fluent yet and I still have a huge way to go I mean and so is my reading however with time and with practice that can actually get better. So basically I hope this video answers this question guys. Um, I hope you don't get discouraged from coming to Japan actually I want to see more foreigners coming to Japan and creating more videos because I think Japan is still one of those places where 
there aren't enough foreigners coming to this place. I mean, most of the city is basically um, Japanese people. So I really want to see more engagement, more input from foreigners. I hope you like this video. I hope uh, to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. Cheers. See you next time.